before we get into today's video, I want you all to do me a solid and go to Jehovah's Fitness's channel, leave him a like and a sub on a bunch of his videos, because why not? You got time for that, I'm sure. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, Jehovah's Fitness, great guy, very stand-up guy, in fact. He was there when um, I didn't get the credit that I deserved for putting out all those um, Super Souls from... The DLC prior to the most recent one we just got. And um, he even left a comment over on Cabby's channel. That got like over a hundred likes. Very appreciative of him looking out for me there. And I think his comment might have even gotten removed. I think anyway. I can't seem to find it again. But anyway, that guy who got miscredited is no longer there from what I've noticed. Not really that big a deal. Uh, that's enough dawdling. But, yeah, definitely go and check out the whole me Jehovah's Fitness, because he started doing a bunch of Parallel Quest 122 challenge vids. And I know how difficult those can be. You can go and check my history if you want to see the most difficult one I had. That was Base Super Baby 2 at level 99 before we even got our first cap increase. That was incredibly difficult for me to do. But, uh, getting into our first free battle here. I actually got to get the random number generator up. Give me a sec here. Let's see. First up will be a battle 43, 47, and 24. Let me just make a quick note of that. There we go. All set. I'll just put that off to the side for reference. Jehovah's came up with a very silly deck. Just give me a sec. I'm going to lower the affinity and priority on LBS to see if that helps any at all. Which, uh, by the way, fun fact, I finally figured out what was giving me those random FPS dips. And it was just V-Sync being on, so I've turned it off, like, completely. Even on my PC. I'm using G-Sync. No screen tearing. All good. Game's definitely running a hell of a lot smoother than it has for the past several years. So if you're wondering where those dips are coming from, turn off V-Sync. Should hopefully be good. Of course, I'm referring to the PC version. But yeah, very, very silly deck here we're looking at. We've got a bunch of Hercule. Everyone's got up 2 skills. This one's duped entirely in speed. This one's duped entirely in attack. This one's duped entirely in HP. Got another one duped entirely into attack. And we got PyCon going half and half. We'll be putting him down on the field turn 3. Hang on, got a text from my buddy. I'm actually going to hang out with him later today. Head over by five, got it. Alright. Getting into our first fight. If you're wondering which Dokkan OST this is, it's Bobbity's. And surprisingly, it sounds damn good. That's the one with speed. There we go, that's the one with attack. We'll do the attack ones. Not really too worried about God Vegeta, but I am worried about Gogeta. Damn it, I got outsped. That's actually really bad. I got shafted on the wheel. Hercule might die here. Never mind. O2 skills. This god Vegeta just is not good, like, at all. Don't let that number fool you. The AI cheats. That's well known, though, by most. 
Now we're going to go straight for the master. Should have maybe played it safe and went with the speed one. But, uh, oh well. This deck, if you couldn't tell, focuses a lot on hitting the master. Silly Hercule. I didn't even know he did that at the end of one of his combos. Then again, I don't really use him too much. Alright, next we'll put down these guys. I think I did put the HP one at the bottom left. I think, anyway. So we're definitely okay, for the most part. Very nice. This ain't gonna kill, but whatever. I just realized the other Hercule's gonna kill him. So far, so good. This silly deck is actually working out. <laughs> hey, Malice. Good boy, buddy. Good kitty. We just got back from the vet not too long ago. Malice wanted nothing to do with that. Poor kitty. Alright, next fight, 47. Alright, next up, coincidentally enough, we got a fight against Pycon. I need to look at his units, because I don't recall whether or not this is a scary free battle. I want to say yes. Definitely yes. Because look, he's got the Shunemba. He has Godku. You all know how much Godku kicks ass. He's got this Vegeta. The Gogeta and himself. Christ. Putting down the attack ones first. Hopefully I don't get screwed over on the wheel again. There we go. So much speed. That is a lot of Master HP. I think the highest I've seen it go for the AI is 35,000. Now, if you want a good idea of how obnoxious and overpowered my speed team is, it's able to kill that. That whole freaking bar of Master HP against Gamma 2. As is my SEC team. And what's funny about it, doing that with my SEC team, is often... My entire side is near full HP by the end of it. I am so surprised that Hercule lived that. Jesus. Now, Gogeta, on the other hand, probably kills here. Yeah. That Gogeta is just so good. I think that's the one that I use. Let's take a look at him. Yes, it's the one I use. Absolutely cracked. Let's see, that's the one with um, speed. There we go. That blows, but I couldn't predict that Goji would be going over there this turn. I get shafted again, of course. But thankfully I still have speed. I'm actually stunned at how much Hercule's dealing. Like, they finally gave him a decent unit. Only thing is, he has to go for the Master. Nice. I wouldn't be surprised if I lost both Hercules here. Mm -hmm. 
Wait, never mind. They didn't, they didn't double stack. Should be all right to keep one. Rest in peace. Nice, I get an ult. Let's see, where's Pycon go? Sweet, I can ult with him. Going for it. Don't really see um, O2 skills too often, so this is a nice shakeup, I would say. And now Pycon's going to completely demolish, well, Pycon. Very nice. Glad we finally got to use him. Got just one more. I don't see this deck doing too well against Gamma 2, but we can give it a shot. Yuck, Ribrian. I am not using her or Rosie in Sparking Zero unless I absolutely have to. Cocoon says cool, but those two, no. Hell no. Also, for any of my, um... Subs who are happening to get Sparking Zero on PC. I'm actually going to be working on a Master Save file starting October 7th. I'm going to be using my vacation days to get that done. So hopefully I can save some of you a lot of work. Because I'm going to be really busy getting that done. Um, and for anyone wondering, I pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition. Also going to be working on mastering the hell out of Blue Vegeta that goes into Evo. I still find it weird what they did with his Blue Evolution. They made it a lot like Kyle Ken, and I don't know, I'm kind of torn on that. I'm happy that it's at least in the game, but still. It's weird because, you know, in this game... It's its own character, its own slot. Alright, let's get the um, speed Hercule in here. So much speed on just two units, it's kind of noxious. Like, look at that. 60k with just these two units. I don't even get that with my speed team. And goodbye, Rebrian. Uh, just because it's Jehovah's Fitness, let's go ahead and attempt to Gamma 2. I also want to showcase Godku in that fight. And something really cheeky you can do with um, Andrea 21. She's actually a low-key counter to Gamma 1. I'll have to get the deck set up, so that's going to take me a few. All right, there we go. Arceus is going to get hit by the Gamma 1, but I at least get the block of the Master, so there is that. Oh, damn, I'm actually getting out to That ain't good. No. Well, I lose one Hercule. 
for sure. Go on ignoring defense. So my master is going to take quite a bit here. And because it's Vegito with that opposing scale, Hercule dies. Otherwise, he would have lived. Unfortunate. And this Hercule should live. Yep. Can at least start getting some hits in on the Master for what that's worth. I should have put down the speed one with the attack one. So many punches. Alright, now we'll put down the... Wait. There we go. Oh, good. Vegito screwed up and didn't put himself on the correct trigger square, so he's not getting that benefit. Now, the base Vegito, on the other hand, that's a problem, because he ignores defense as well. And he does quite a bit of damage. That really didn't do a whole lot. Neither did that. This actually isn't looking too good. More defense ignoring. Jesus Christ, I'm taking a lot. And I think Hercule might die here. Nope. Okay. That's odd, but alright. Um, well, there's turn three now. Let's put down PyCon. Love this theme. This one's for, um, Piccolo. Funny, it has an actual Piccolo playing in it. Just barely outspeeding. I think Vegeta might kill my master. Never mind, we're good. Pycon is cracked. <laughs> Christ, dude. Love this song. Alright, I'm gonna throw that other deck together really quick. This is gonna take me a bit, so uh, bear with me. Hang on. Wait a minute. There we go. That'll make it easier. Let's see, where's the Android 21? There she is. And I'm going to use this Videl that I already have. Let's see, you can attack up ODU on him. Let's see, where's that Master Level 60 attack? There we go. Right, it's an addition. It's not a multiplier. We're good. Now, the only way that I can get absolutely screwed over here is if I don't get a 300. Other than that, pretty solid. Or if I could just get shafted another speed wheel in general. Let's see. Speed. There we go. Attack up out of you. Speed up out of you. Where is that? The 60. Actually, you know what? No. We're going to play it safe since he goes in the back. Give him ultimate gauge down every turn. Wrong skill. There we go. Now I got at least two of those. Let's see. Attack up out of you. 
Peanut butter to you. There we go. Alright, let's get started against Gamma 2. Hopefully I get lucky and he puts out Gamma 1 turn 1. Because it's really hilarious what 21 does to him in return. He actually steals his posing skill. Uh, she actually steals his posing skill and... Gamma 1 can't do shit to her. And neither can anyone stacking behind Gamma 1. So basically forces a stalemate, which is nice. Now, this is where I can get out spad. With that lineup. Good, I didn't get shafted. I got shafted earlier this morning. It was annoying. I hate that shit. Very nice. Almost a one shot. Now, unfortunately... The skill that she just took doesn't go into effect that turn. This is going to do quite a bit. Alright, now I really would like to start building up Blue Evolution. But, uh, let me double check their speed before I do that. Okay, then he would have that plus this plus the ODU skills. Roughly 12,000-ish. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Let's do it. Oh, let's put Goku up here. Because I think we should still at speed. Nice. Very nice. And now she steals this. And nothing will happen to her. It's hilarious. Look how much Goku's already doing turn two. That's excellent. Should see him by like turn, I want to say four. It was either turn three or four and he was doing like 17k. It was obnoxious. Very strong. Unfortunately, I may lose blue evolution here. Nothing. Android 21 low-key counters. Gamma 1 forces him into a stalemate. It's great. That sucks. I just realized I don't have any ultimate gauge down every turn, folks, down on the field. So, now to make sure I don't get bodied, we're doing this. I should still have speed. Yeah, that's, that's really annoying. Could have been worse. Steals posing skill again. And she takes zero damage. Let's see how much Goku does turn three. Over 12k. I'm telling you guys, use this Goku. He's so underrated. He's also boosting ultimate damage, I believe. I have to double check that. But, yeah, Goku's actually getting well over 1k attack each turn here. Because of his posing skill and ODU skills. Look at his attack already. Look at Android 21's attack already. Look at their speed. Like, Christ. And now we'll do this, just for funsies. You know what, no, we're going to leave 21 down. And, uh, why not? We'll just put Broly down for the hell of it. I know it's not really going to do anything to the Gamma 1, but... This is mainly to showcase how busted Goku can get.
Let's see how much damage he's dealing on turn four now. This, of course, does nothing. Pointless. I'm going to skip that. Let's see how much he deals now. 14,000. This is going to do nothing, of course. This other Broly that I'm using, he's actually viable for speed teams because he's got, um, I want to say close to 3,500 speed, like, innately. Either that or I duped him. I need to double check. I think I actually may have duped him. Yeah, I may have actually do. We'll check after the fight. And then I want to say I put the rest into attack. It's, he's got plenty of HP as is. Now, obviously, Goku's going to one-shot the Master at this point. Imagine if he were using... Attack up Master level 60. That'd be even crazier. But I give him speed because his speed just quite isn't there. It's just not quite there yet. It's like the um, more viable for speed teams. So you kind of have to put that on him in my opinion. Let's see. Turn 5. 17,250. Crazy. Let's look at what I duped this Broly as. Okay, I did put everything into speed. Everything went into speed. Yeah, he needed that. Now, he's just under where he needs to be in terms of speed, but that's where the ODU skills come in handy. Or come in. That's where the Videl comes in. 21's already good, because turn 1, she's going to have 3580 speed. Same thing with Vegeta here. I just put the rest into HP to balance them out a little bit more. Because that extra bit of HP can save you. And especially with that other defensive part of his trigger square, could definitely make use of it, even with ODU skills. Could very well save him. But anyway, that's pretty much going to do it for the video. Be sure to go and check out Jehovah's Fitness. I'll put a link to his channel down in the description below. I gotta go take a nap here so I can be awake to hang out with my buddy later. Peace out.